they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. What's going on everyone? My name is Miles. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to talk about Fortnite versus Apex. And the reason I want to talk about it is because they're really two entirely different games. And sometimes it kind of bothers me when people relate them to the same style of game. And sure, they're both battle royales, but they're really different in the sense of the meta and how they work. So as you guys know, obviously in Fortnite, you can build and obviously in Apex Legends, you have different legends that have different abilities. So kind of like League of Legends. So I was talking with my friend the other day who is actually a Fortnite pro player for Lazarus on Fortnite. His name is Legedian or Legedian. And I was talking with him about some zone rotations and how they work in Apex. And we actually discovered that they are very, very different from Fortnite. So in Fortnite, knowing that you can build, you can play a situation a lot different than Apex because in Apex you can't build. So in order to rotate somewhere, in order to position yourself correctly, a lot of times in apex you want to play on the outskirts of the ring you want to play on the edge because if you're in the middle it's really hard to defend yourself you can't box up like you can in fortnite and so in fortnite he was saying that a lot of times you want to get more deep into the zone so that you can just box up and when i heard that it really started to click and make sense because a lot of the tournaments that i watch i would see most people can see each other's boxes of where they're boxed up in fortnite so like it's okay to be in the middle of the zone because it doesn't mean you're just going to get pushed and it doesn't mean you're going to just have to fight multiple teams at once or multiple people at once However, in Apex, you can't really just start building to protect yourself. So you really need to be secure and safe and settled wherever you're at. Because if one team decides to push, there's no way to get around it. You can't just box up and keep like trying to take a wall over someone like that. Like you can't have that much time. Like you are forced to fight. So people play a lot different and the rotations work a little bit different. So in Apex, especially at the Apex Predator level and the pro player level, a lot of people like to stay on the edge of the ring. However, at a Fortnite Fortnite pro player level you don't always want to stay on the edge of the ring because sometimes it can mess up your rotation knowing that pretty much everyone sees your box already and if you have to rotate and you're not in zone they're all gonna laser you at the same time from their own box so in apex a lot of people don't know where each other are at uh, whenever they're rotating and if they did they would probably be fighting already or shooting at each other with snipers or something um, but with Fortnite, you already pretty much know where everyone's at you can see everyone's box that are built up and you kind of know where they're going to be located it's just a matter of really being quick with your edits to defend yourself and also to protect yourself and then obviously being quick with those builds. So the play style and the rotation work a little bit differently between Apex and Fortnite. And I think this is a good thing because it really gives two different games that offer two varieties of play style. And if you guys want my honest opinion on which play style is better and makes more sense, you're probably going to be surprised. But I obviously like Apex as a game more better than Fortnite, but I like the way that Fortnite works and its consistency of allowing the best players to win what I mean by that is sometimes in apex especially especially when you're playing against really good people if, if you're stuck in a bad zone if you get unlucky because the zone just doesn't work in your favor a lot of times there's literally nothing you can do like you can't protect yourself you have to run out of the building the team knows you're already there they're going to throw grenades they're going to light you up and there's no building there's no obstacles to protect yourself sometimes you get in those situations and you just lose and there's nothing to, there's no way to avoid it however Fortnite with building gives you an opportunity to run out and make a big brain play on someone and it gives you that at least small sliver of a chance yes i know pro players are good at defending it and not allowing it to happen to begin with but it does give you some hope some opportunity and some chance to pull off a crazy play and to not have your game be forced to just be a loss because of an unlucky zone so you guys know how i obviously feel about fortnite considering i'm an apex legends youtuber to be honest with you i don't have anything against fortnite but i do think fortnite is in a bad place right now and the reason i think that is because they are really stuck in a bind between moving forward with their game. I don't want to call their game over. I don't want to call it dead. Um, but I do want to say that Fortnite is struggling and they really are. And there's no way you can convince me otherwise. They are struggling because they don't have as many options to make a change to the game. Now, yes, they can add a new map. Yes, they can change the guns. They can vault weapons. They can buff weapons. They can nerf weapons to try to change the meta and change the play style of the game. But there is nothing. And I can say this time and time again but there is nothing like Apex adding a new legend in a new season and, a, and maybe a map change or whatever, but that new legend brings so much hype 
to the game itself. There's nothing like a new champion coming to League of Legends or a new hero coming to Overwatch. And I don't even play those games, but I know it's exciting because like it's going, it's so huge. Like it's, it's not just a, a weapon change. It's not just a, a new weapon or something small. It's an entirely new character, an entirely new legend, not just a cosmetic, not just another skin or whatever an entire new legend. There's nothing that Fortnite can compete with that because it's such a cool feeling and it's such a drastic change to the game and it brings a lot of hype. So I actually started Fortnite when it first came out years ago, but I think back in 2017, I was one of the early birds, like OGs, I guess you would say, but I quit playing around season five or so and I haven't played since just because the game just never felt the same and it just wasn't that fun anymore. I got really burnt out really quick. Um, so I don't have anything really against Fortnite because I at one point was one of those big time supporter of Fortnite fans and I loved the game. I just don't like the direction that it took um, in the past few seasons and I definitely love the direction that Apex is taking and I did not realize this but Respawn Entertainment that is developing Apex Legends actually was the same team that developed Modern Warfare 2. Obviously Infinity War developed Modern Warfare 2 but the people that are working at Respawn worked for Infinity Ward at that time if i'm not mistaken so that's going to be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed make sure to leave it a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more apex legends daily videos like this and if i sound extremely tired i really do apologize i've been so stressed out with work and my job and i just got engaged so i've been doing a lot of planning for that and i've just had a very busy day and really a busy last two months especially with being in retail and christmas and all it's just been really hectic and so i'm just really exhausted and really burnt out so i uh, think Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys so much for supporting my channel through all of this it has really been a grind and to be quite honest with you there's no way i would have kept doing this if it was not for you guys' comments down below just saying how much you love the channel how much you love the videos and uh, all of your support really has kept me going honestly i'm not just saying that i'm not just saying thank you or whatever trying to be a nice youtuber or whatever if i did not have you guys' support if i got if i did not have your comments to really encourage me then i would have quit a long time ago so that's going to be it for me today remember don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one peace